Well, John, thanks for joining us. We have media lined up here, so we'll just jump right into the question and answer. Can you turn it off? First up will be Dan Ralph. There we go. Hey, John, uh, congratulations on getting to this point. I'm wondering how difficult is it waiting and not knowing whether you're going to play Monday or whether it's going to be another week given the COVID situation? Um, I wouldn't say it's too difficult. I think we just focus on what we have to do to prepare for the game and whenever that is and whenever whatever date it is, um, I know that we'll be ready and well prepared to play. Next will be Lucas Weiss. Lucas? Hey, John, thanks so much for taking the time. Can you maybe walk us through that 40-yard that reception in the Rose Bowl and, and uh, Devontae Smith's blocking on that play as well? I think it was just a good call and great execution. Um, I think we got the call into the right look that we wanted. And of course, um, what we take pride on as receivers is also playing without the ball. And I think that was great of Smitty leading me down the field, um, leading the way. Next will be Dave Naylor. Dave? John, can, can you tell us a little bit about you know the relationship you have with your brothers, some of your friends back in Brampton that I understand you know you still keep very close ties with through the course of the season, and and what those kind of relationships mean, you know, supporting you in in your football journey. Uh, the relationships I have with my brothers and um, all my close friends back in Brampton and back home mean everything to me. Um, they are the reason why I am the way I am. Um, they've helped me with everything, and they continue to be there for me um, unconditionally. So. Those relationships definitely mean a lot to me. Next will be Zachary Braziller. Zach? John, a uh, few kind of, I guess a two-parter. Um, how has uh, how has Jalen looked in practice, and what would getting him back for this game mean to you guys? Um, Waddles look good. Um, he's been doing a lot of treatment. He's been on top of everything, and I feel like um, that's that. And him coming back, as to him coming back, I think everyone knows what he brings and what um, what that brings when he's on the field to the defense, how they look at that, um, how dynamic our offense is. Um, so I feel like um, everyone kind of knows what he brings to the table. Patrick Murphy, Pat? I'm not sure how much you look at, at individual matchups uh, before, but there's a, there's a chance seven banks, number seven for Ohio State, could be on you a lot. If you've studied tape on him, what do you see from him? He's a young receiver who's who's in his first year starting for Ohio State. Um, I don't really look at individu individual matchups a lot, but I do look at their defenses and their personnel and who we're going to play, but he's definitely a good um, DB. Um, their DBs are really long, lengthy, good in coverage. Um, so I think um, just on, on my part, being prepared, being prepared to face whoever and win my box. Michael Casagrande. Michael? Yeah, just wonder where were you watching the Heisman stuff last night and what was your reaction when you saw uh, Devontae today? Um, I was watching it at, at my place um, the other night. Um, and I wasn't surprised. I had said it long ago that Smitty is the best player in college football this year. Um, so definitely seeing him win um, was great. Um, extremely proud of him. But um, I definitely wasn't surprised because I knew I knew he was going to win it from from time. Next will be Jeff Spiegel. Jeff. Hey, John, is it, is it cool to see a wide receiver finally win the Heisman Trophy? And do you think we'll see more wideouts win it in the future? Um, I hope I hope more wideouts win in the future. But it definitely is cool, especially it being um, somebody from Alabama and somebody in our, in our receiver room. But um, especially it being more of a quarterback, running back award that people say. But it definitely is cool. And I definitely hope that more wide receivers um, win the Heisman Trophy coming up. Nathan Baird. Nathan? 
Hey, John, but what's something about Mac Jones that you feel maybe doesn't get enough appreciation from the rest of us? Um, I'm not really sure. I think uh, Mac does everything well, and I think he does everything great, actually, um, as far as being a leader. Um, his ability, what he does on the field, his preparation for the games. So um, I think he's great at all those things. Ronald Wallace, Ron. Uh, good morning, John. I, w- I would like to know how how are you able you and other receivers able to be on the exact same page as Matt, and and how did he make the determination who's going to get the ball? Uh, just practice. I think uh, just we practice really hard. Um, we always practice hard. Um, and I think that's where a lot of the chemistry is built. A lot of the bonds are built. And as far as um, determining who gets the ball. Um, we kind of just go out there and play, and the ball finds the right person. Um, like we say, the ball will always find the right person. Um, so I think that that's pretty much it. Kurt Burmester, Kurt. Uh, just wondering if you could tell us, uh, John, on uh, just how much of a different player are you now than you were uh, before you came to Bama? Um, I'm different in, in a lot of ways. Uh, physically, mentally, um, emotionally, you just grow coming to Alabama, just knowing that every day you're going to compete and that this place is going to bring the best out of you. It's going to force it's going to force the best out of you um, for you to be the best version of yourself, for you to be a competitor. Um, and I think in all those ways, I've definitely grown. Next will be Tony Gerdeman. Tony? John, you said Devontae is the best player in college football. Can one defender slow him down and... Was there a second part to that question? I didn't yeah. hear it. Hey, can a defender, can one defender, can one guy slow down Devontae? Um, no. No. And our last question will come from Lucas Weiss. Lucas? John, you elaborated last week before the Rose Bowl about the journey you've been on different countries around the world. What have you learned? What did you learn about yourself along that journey living in different countries that's helped prepare you as a football player and a person? Um, I think that has taught me to be um, comfortable being uncomfortable, um, just because I've never really been in one place for extreme, an extremely long amount of time. I, and I'm kind of always like, have been moving around. So it's always a new environment, which can be uncomfortable for a lot of people, but it kind of just taught me to be comfortable being uncomfortable. And that helps a lot um, in the sport um, and in life. Thank you very much, John. We appreciate your time. We look forward to seeing you in Miami. Thank you.